Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, my beautiful, beautiful Tauruses? I meant to set my card out. <laughs> my beautiful Tauruses, this is the nighttime energy reading. I love you guys. I love you guys. How are y'all feeling? How are you doing? I'm going to do something a little different, and I want y'all's input on it, how you feel about it. I'm just going to do, um, you know, love reading, um, seeing how your person feels. Uh, see what's going on with your person. Okay. This is just going to dig right into your person. Okay. Let's see, you know, whether you separated from this person, whether you are not talking to this person or whether this is someone new, however, it fits in your life, Taurus. Okay. This is a nighttime energy. So I'm just going to see, um, pull some different energy and see how this is going to come out for you, Taurus. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me tonight. Also check out my other uh, videos. I uploaded Taurus as well. Daytime energy reading. I'm trying to do both. I want to, you know, try to satisfy, um, all of my audience. Okay. Um, but to new viewers, cross watchers, okay? Please take what resonates. Reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, okay? I don't know your life, so you're going to have to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life, okay? So, uh, yeah. So, this is going to be how your person is feeling, okay? So, this is, I'm picking, I'm going to pick up on this, your person's energy, okay? But if it reverses, if this is you, then you can reverse it how it applies in your life, okay? So, Spirit Guides, Divine Universe. I ask you to come into this reading. I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your protection. All right. So let's get started. All right, Taurus. Yeah. So this is for the nighttime, the, the lovers or the, uh, you know, you are having problems, maybe separation, or you may not have problems. I don't know, but let's, let's get into the energy. Spirit guys, this is the energy of Taurus person. How is the Taurus person? What is Taurus person thinking right now? Ah, look what they're thinking. Taurus, this person, your person is saying, will you leave me like the others? Ooh, this person is having some type of, I feel like anxiety, you know, like will you leave them like the others have, you know? Um, in, in other words, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, maybe they love hard and maybe they put a lot of energy in relationships and then they end up getting a you know, in stick of it. And, um, you know, the, 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 um, um, connection, um, doesn't work out. So this can be you Tar, so this can be your person, but right now I'm picking up on their energy that they're saying, will you leave me like the other spear guys? Okay. Okay. That card was turned upside down spirit guys. I need another card. This is for Taurus person. Okay, I got two cards that came out here, Taurus. If you want to know what deck this is, this is the Lover Oracle deck, okay? It is heart-shaped fortune-telling cards, okay? So, let's see what these two cards are that fail, Taurus, okay? This is about your person. Why do I feel this way? I can't handle your love. Oh, my goodness. Uh, why do I feel this way? I can't handle your love. So, this person is very confused. Um, your, your person is very con confused. I feel like, you know, sometimes people cannot, you know, sometimes people ask for a good, good person to come into their life. Sometimes people um, ask for a good man or a good woman to come into their life. And then when they come into their life, they are afraid of it. I feel like this is the energy that your person could be afraid of this. Okay. Um, this connection, um, it's, it just feels maybe it's too good to be true or it's just, it's so powerful and they're afraid that you're going to leave them. And you know, it's like, you know, when you, you know, this person may have, have experienced a lot of broken hardness. Okay. A lot of brokenness, um, a lot of unfairness when it comes down to connections, when it comes down to relationships and this person is like, they don't understand why they feel this way. Uh, the reason why I feel as though that this person or you Taurus is feeling this way is because they are not here. They have not fully healed themselves. Okay. So I feel like your person haven't fully, fully healed themselves or they wouldn't feel this way because when you love yourself eternally, okay, you are, 
you know, you don't need validation. You're loving yourself and you are expecting to for it to be reciprocal. So this person can't handle your love. I feel like you just it's, it's just a too much because they're not used to maybe you being good to them or used to, you know, uh, a healthy, healthy uh, relationship. OK, so I'm going to pull one more card and then we'll go to the tarot deck and see what's going on. OK, thank you. Let's see what came out. What came out of here? Where did it go? Yep. Childhood trauma. Absolutely. Childhood trauma. I feel like what this is telling me. They want to be different so bad, Taurus, right here. What this is telling me, Taurus, is that. They deal with a lot of childhood. They deal with a lot of childhood trauma, which can mean that uh, everyone they love, they leave. It's like people they love, they end up leaving or people that they love, they end up losing. OK, and that's why it's just, you know, they don't know why they feel this way. But this is why they feel this way, because they still have some trauma that they have to work on. That means they got they still have some dark night of the soul, you know, some soul searching, some healing to do childhood trauma. I feel like this person could have suffered from abandonment issues, their mother, their father. Um, they could have suffered suffered from, um, you know, not, you know, getting the full, the full love that they deserve as a child. They definitely, definitely went through something. So they have faced a lot of challenges, Taurus, in their life uh, as they grow from child, childhood up to adulthood. And so when something good come into their life, and I feel as though that this person have had maybe some good connections, but they end up messing it up because um, or they end up sabotaging it because they feel as though that this person is going to leave or you're going to leave or whoever they dealt with is going to leave anyway. OK, so until this person deals with this childhood trauma, um, they're not. It's almost like you're definitely good too good to be true. Uh, they can't handle this love. You know, it's, it, you know, the love that y'all have. So let's see, let's see what's going on. Spirit guys, they have big regrets. Okay. Uh, they look back, they look back, nostalgia memories, Taurus. They look back on nostalgia memories. Tell me more spirit guys about this. Um, they, 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 I feel as though that they don't realize when they say, why do I feel this way? Okay. Uh, why do I feel this way? They don't understand it. Maybe this is someone that you're dealing with that um, doesn't know anything about the dark night of soul or shadow work, healing, they're healing themselves. OK, becoming the best version of themselves. And uh, but they feel, you know, everyone that they may have talked to or came in contact, even down to friendships. OK, um, um, relationships, they they end up um they end up leaving them, leaving this person because of this that's going on in their life. OK, so spirit guys, talk to me for Taurus energy. What is Taurus persons uh, thinking about? Yeah, I told you the regret card. Mm -hmm. They having big regrets of. I feel like a, a, along the way or maybe regrets that they're putting you through this. OK, this could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're dealing with. OK, they have big regrets or they having regrets that um, that they're putting you through this because I, I'm getting the energy. Spirit guys is telling me that they, they know he or she when I say they y'all, I mean, he or she. They know that you're a good person. You're a good man. You're a good woman for them. And they have a regret that they cannot be reciprocal to you and give you the same love that you give them or you know what I'm saying they can't handle it and they're regretting they're regretting that they were treated like that in their in their childhood um and it has led to affect them in their adulthood okay but see you are a high priestess okay you already had a sense OK, I could be talking to you. You are high priestess. You are very spiritual. OK, I feel like you have came into this person's life to help heal this person, possibly. OK, they don't realize that. OK, um, you could be there on a mission for a purpose, for a reason to be in this person's life. OK, I feel like to help this person to become stable, um, you know, mentally um, and. Um, yeah. 
So I feel like you try you have tried to show this person, okay, that you want stability with this person. That's what Spirit Guides is telling me. You have showed this person, you're trying to show, you're trying to show this person that you want to be stable, that you want you want them and only her or only him, okay? Um, and um I feel like they're sabotaging how you feel and what you want. Excuse me, confirmation burp. But you're very intuitive. You're very tuned in with yourself. Okay, you 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 listen to your intuition, and it's like it's it's only so much you can do. You understand? Ooh, yeah. You're learning the truth. Okay, you're learning the truth that this person. I feel like this. Even I'm trying to say this the best way that I can, Taurus. Even though that you are high priestess, okay, and you're trying to show this person that you really want to be in their life, and you're learning that it's almost like they're turning you off with the things that they do, okay, because you have the moon card and you have the passion in the reverse. It's like they're turning you off, and it's like the things they say, the way they sabotage, I mean, maybe this person could be, you know, just accusing you, blaming you, doing things like that. And it's really, really, it's really turning you off. Okay. And it can, because you're trying to prove yourself. You're trying to prove yourself to this person, but this person is dealing with some stuff that they're going to have to deal with on their own. And so no matter, remember this, Taurus, no matter how good you can be to someone, you can be healed, you can be on your healed side, but when it comes down to a person that is not healed or not in tune with themselves, their higher self, okay, then no matter what you do, Taurus, it's not going to feel right to them. They're going to feel like you're going to walk out one day. They're going to be, they, they, I feel like your person suffers from anxiety. They suffer, they suffer from, uh, depression. They also suffer from, um, just too good to be true. Okay. So I feel like it's turning you off. You're learning the truth that it's turning you off. You know, it's like, I can't do this because what will happen is that this person is going to start to aggravate your spirit. OK, that means that, you know, you're the high priestess. You try you try your best to talk to this person. High priestess is very intuitive. I feel like you try to teach this person and try to tell this person, this, you know, what you've been through on your journey and try to help to, you know, heal this person is what I'm trying to say. I feel like you're trying to help heal this person, but this person is still in a regret mode of their childhood of how they were treated okay they're having big regrets about you know about that and so this is what has happened in their relationships okay they can't hound I can't handle your love you're too much but see you're happy okay you're happy you're happy within yourself OK, you bring joy, you bring happiness, you bring stability towards this person and they can't they just can't handle it. And she is saying or he is saying, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel will you leave me like the others left you? Well, if you're not healed, I can't promise you that I won't leave you because what happens, you will begin to contaminate me. And when you contaminate me, you start to you will start to make my vibration or my frequency become lower. So I feel like it's messing up the passion, the passion, the intimacy that you have for this person. It's like you're not even in the mood to have sex. Because you're trying to prove to this person that you're coming into their life to, 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 you know, make them feel free, happiness, stability, you know, and they, they you, some, if you're not healed, then you can say the same thing over and over. You can try to convince someone over and over until they're blue in the face, until they're blue in the face. 
They're not going to see it until they become, until they become healed, until they heal themselves, until they really dig deep into their childhood trauma and realize that the only way I can allow someone to love me is, is if I love myself. So this person is not loving her or himself. So they can't see your love. They can't see that you want stability. They can't see that you want happiness, that you want to be with them. They can't see that because they don't love themselves. So if they don't love themselves, that make them become detached Detach with the King of Cups in the reverse. That makes them become detached from their feelings or it makes you become detached from your feelings that you once had with this person. And that's what it's all about. Let me pull uh, my my uh, mind if my mind oracle deck spirit guys. Oh, OK. Yeah, this person, yeah, opened up, fell right out. I was going to ask for you guys to give me clarity. Open up. This person is has a big wall up. Okay? This person that you're dealing with has a big wall up, Taurus. You see that? Yeah. It says you're being asked to open your heart to another, to let down your walls and trust that they want they want what's best for you. OK, all you're asking is this person to just give you a chance. You know, your life will open up in the wonderful ways, wonderful ways once you decide to open up. So, like I said, if this is you, Taurus, or this is your person. OK, but I feel as though that this could be this could be your person. So I feel like you all you want this person to do is to, you know, just. Try to believe that you are real, that you coming from a, a place of true intentions. But they, 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 this person has a wall up. Tell me more. This person has a wall, a strong wall up because of the, because of their past. And you got surrender. Okay. You have surrender here. And it says you're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life and surrender to the universe. Control is an illusion and it's exhausting to try to hold on to it. Let it go and allow yourself to enjoy the relief that comes from doing so. So I feel like some of y'all are you, you holding on, but you can't fix this. You can't. Sometimes you have to let it go. Okay. That's what it says. Sometimes it's time to surrender because I feel as though this is exhausting you, Taurus, or this is exhausting your person to try to hold on to it. You know, control is an illusion. I feel like you're trying your best to just you just keep trying to prove a point. You know, trying to make this person believe that I'm here for you, baby, sweetie, sir. I'm not going to hurt you, honey. I'm here, but it doesn't matter how many times you say it. This person is not going to open up until they have done the work on themselves. One more card for Taurus, and I will end this. So Spirit Guides is saying, like I think I said before, don't hold on to someone that don't want to be held on or you know sometimes I know we feel like that we can fix other people but that can't happen because they got to do the work for themselves any other message for this I need another card spirit guides one more one more card thank you grounding is and believe so I feel as though that this is a situation that you must let go and ground yourself and get yourself back centered on you and focus on you, Taurus, because they said you're being asked to ground yourself. You've been spending too much time in your head about this. OK, and it's time to pay attention to your body and to the earth. Go outside and plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the centering feeling um, this brings. So you definitely been all in your head about this situation. And like I said, until a person does their healing, you can be the right person for this person. But they can't see it. 
because they're not healed. They have to do some healing. I am Positive Thoughts of Energy. Let me know how you, what you think about this. This is a nighttime energy reading. Until next time.